सो टुडे वी विल बी सॉल्विंग अवर सेकेंड क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम कोड ग्रीडी प्लेटफॉर्म दैट इज रिमूव डुप्लीकेट्स फ्रॉम सॉर्टेड एरे सो बिफोर वी बिगिन लेट मी टेल यू कोड ग्रीड इज अ प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू विल बी गेटिंग एवरी थिंग एट वन प्लेस टू प्रिपेयर फॉर रिप्लेसमेंट राइट फ्रॉम डोमेन वाइज प्रोजेक्ट टॉपिक्स रिज्यूम रिव्यू कोडिंग शीट्स शेड्यूल अ मॉक इंटरव्यू एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट टॉपिक वाइज एप्टीट्यूड सेक्शन सो डू चेक दिस वेबसाइट द लिंक ऑफ दिस वेबसाइट इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाउ लेट सेक वट डज अ क्वेश्चन लुक्स लाइक सो वी हैव गिवन एन सॉर्टेड एरे ए ऑफ साइज एन we need to delete all the duplicate elements present in my array and modify the array such that it contains only distinct elements which means whatever the final array we get it should contains only distinct elements the most important point to note here in this question is that is the this second point so what does this says that we need to modify the array and return the size of modified array such that that size indicates the total number of distinct elements so what does it mean is let's understand by sample input output so this is the sample input we have given so what we need to do is we need to modify the array and return the size of modified array such that the size is nothing but total number of distinct elements so what we will do is so what will be our answer here is so you got 1 2 and 4 and at the remaining three places we can have any elements but the point is we got the three distinct elements so we will return as a three so i hope so you understood the meaning of the question that is simply return the total number of distinct elements in my array and the most important point is that distinct element should be present at the front of my array now whenever this question comes in your interview what will be the first brute force solution that you will give so what we will do is we will be using the set in c++ and hash set in java so here i will have the set you can call it hash set or in java or set in c++ so let me write it as a set and what i will do is i will traverse each and every single element present in my array and at the same time while traversing i will check whether that element is present in my set or not if the given element is present in my set i will simply ignore that element but if the element is not present in my set i will push that element in my set so let's understand one by one so what i will do is first i will start traversing from one now i will check is there one in my set no there is no any one present in my set so i will simply put one in my set now again i will go to the second one but my one is already present in my set therefore i will simply ignore this one now i will come at two and there is no any two present in my set so i'll simply put two in my set then again i come across two but the two is already present so simply ignore it again we have two but the two is already present in my set so simply ignore this so we got four and there is no any four present in my set so simply put four in my set so again i have four but the point is my four already present in my set so simply ignore it now once we have traversed whole array we can see that our set has given all the distinct element present in my array so what we can do is we can simply return total number of elements present in my set that is 3 but before we return total number of elements present in my set we need to make sure that all this element should be present at the front of my array so what we need to do is we need to check and remove these elements and put in my array once again there is one property of a set that everyone knows that it stores the element in increasing order right that from smaller to the bigger so the first a1 will be removed and will be placed at first position two will be removed it will be placed at second position and four will be removed and it will be placed at third position and remaining three places will be any number since we are returning three that is up to only these elements so this was the brute force solution now what will be the time complexity for the brute force solution we know that in order to insert one element inside the set it takes big of log n time and since we are traversing whole array so it will take big of n log n element so plus what we are doing is we are removing all the elements present in my set and again we are putting in the array so say for example my array does not contains any duplicate so all the elements present will be in my set so again i need to remove all the elements present in my set and push into my array so this will take big of n so what will be the time complexity so the time complexity will be big of n log n plus big of n now is there any optimal solution for this yes there is one optimal solution now let's check what will be the optimal solution for this question so now let's check the optimal solution so what i will do is i will be using the concept called as a two pointer 
So with the help of this two pointer, we will be approaching this problem. So what I will do is I will simply put here one index that is called as J and I will put another index that is called as an I. Now what I will do is I will simply check are these two elements are different? No, they are not different. One is equal to one. So simply what I will do is simply I will move the J to the next position that is at this position. Now we can see this, this one and these two are completely different. So what I will do is I will simply move this pointer J to its next position over here and I will put this two at this position. So here we will have two. Now again I will check, I move ahead and I will check is this two and two are different? No, they are same. Therefore, I will simply ignore this and I will move ahead. Again, I can see this two and this two are same. So simply ignore this and move ahead. Now I can see that this four and this two are different. Therefore, it can be used. So what again I will do is I will simply move this J pointer to the next position that is at this position and I will simply put this four at this position. So in place of two, now we have four. So again, we can what we can do is we can simply move this i to the next position that is at the 4 and we can see that this 4 then this 4 are same. Therefore, this last number 4 will be ignored and finally we have traversed the whole array. Now if you see clearly that what we have this the first three elements are our distinct elements that is 1, 2 and 4 and what I told you that my j is pointing at this position. So what we need to return is we have to return j plus 1 because j is pointing at index 2 but there are total 3 elements therefore we will return 2 plus 1 equals to 3. So this was the most simplest optimal solution for this problem. Now let's check what will be the code in C++ for the given problem. So here you can see this they have given an array and the size of array as n. So if my, there are no any elements present in my array, simply I will return 0 because there are no elements present in my array. Now as I told you in the tutorial that I use index j. So here in place of j, I will simply using the index which is initially pointing at 0th position. And I am starting from the first position. So what I will do is I am comparing those two elements that if a of index is not equal to a of i. So simply I will take the index one position ahead and in place of index, I will place that element. So I'll keep on doing this until I don't go at the last of an array. And finally, I will simply return index plus one. So this was the most easiest and the simplest problems we learned today. I hope so. This video really made a sense to you. Just in case if you are new to the runtime error, please, please, please do hit the subscribe button so that I can get enough motivation to create such content for you. Till then, have a happy coding.